Okay, here's here's the thing, right? The reason I, I'm playing some modern today because I have, you know, I have a hot take and I really want to kind of prove my theory. The one that does actual nothing after the game starts. So this one. Uh, okay, so here's my theory, right? I'm gonna I, I'm gonna uh, hot take. All right, I posted this on Twitter earlier. Violent outburst ban made rhinos a better deck. Now I know that sounds kind of crazy, and you might think that I'm insane, and I probably am insane to be honest with you. Uh, but here's the context. So think about it this way, right? As far as matchups are concerned, FAOJ, thank you for the 27 months. Dits in the chat. As far as matchups are concerned, Living End was far and away the worst possible matchup for Rhinos, right? Now, we just talked about that Living End is not necessarily dead, right? But Living End has to also play at sorcery speed, right? So if you think about it from the perspective of the reason that the matchup was so bad for Rhinos was that you're, even though you're both cascading at instant speed, like think about it from this perspective, right? Like you end of turn your outburst, okay? You end of turn your outburst, you make two four fours. You untap, you attack for eight. They cast their outburst, you have to tap mana for your force, and they have their force pitch, okay? Now think about it from the perspective of you... I mean, I guess they could just force pitch your Rhinos, but then, so like, if you're both tapping out, you tap out for turn three for Rhinos, they force pitch, you can't fight, they tap out turn three for their living end, you force pitch, now you're kind of in the same spot. But you don't, like, get caught up in these situations where they're able to, like, completely erase your Cascade while, I, does that make sense? Does what I'm saying kind of, like, does that aspect of it make sense? So... If that's the truth, if that's the case, and Living End is your worst matchup, and both decks have to now fight on this different axis, then I think it... I'm not going to say that it makes Rhinos favorite in the matchup, but I think it gives Rhinos more play, because in a general sense, Rhinos is better is is a better deck at playing the free spells right it's it's a better free spell deck than living end because it plays more of them it plays force subtlety cyborg endurance cyborg force of vigor all this stuff so that's number one number two is you know sure teamer rhinos as we as we know it is no longer a playable deck right you you cannot physically have eight cascade spells and be a teamer mana base so you have to add that fourth color anyways right? And Domain was the better version of Rhinos anyways. So it's not even like you're sacrificing that much in terms of the mana base and what you were already playing instead, right? You should have been playing Leyline plus Scion the whole time. So you now you're just forced to build your deck correctly. So not necessarily a downside. And then the third thing is people's perception of the format is that they think that Titan and Yawgmoth got a lot better, right? Because Cascade got weakened. But the reality of the fact is that the play patterns that makes Cascade good against Titan and Yawgmoth have nothing to do with Violent Outburst. It doesn't matter whether you cast your Rhinos on your turn or their turn, because the way that they're fighting over it is not with counter spells. They're fighting over it with hate pieces, Chalice the Void, Void Mirror, Soulless Jailer, all this stuff, Engineered Explosives. So, like, who cares that you can't outburst on their turn? That's not why the matchup was good for Rhinos in the first place. So that's completely irrelevant, and if more people think that Titan and Yawgmoth are good, those are good matchups for Rhinos, right? So, like, there you have that as well. So all three of those factors combined, I think that Rhinos, like, if... Now, I, I will agree with you. If you just take the Domain Rhino deck, right, and you remove Violent Outburst and you add Arden Play, right, the deck is... It's, it's, it's weaker, okay? But it's not enough weaker compared to how much the metagame is changing to make it actually better. Like, Living End down, Titan Yogg tick up, both of those things are so huge for Rhinos, more so than the difference between Ardent Play and Violent Outburst. So, that that was kind of my, like, my thought process behind that. Which, like, again, I don't know how, how much sense that makes, but... <clears throat> But that was that was kind of my, my thought process behind it. And I think it kind of makes sense, to me at least. Why do you hate the Leyline Scion package? Like, if every game where you open on Leyline into Scion, into like it doesn't even matter if you have Rhinos or not. The reason that Leyline Scion is so good is it just embarrasses sideboard cards. 
that's the thing, right? It's like you open on Leyline Scion and your opponent has a chalice and an engineered explosives in their hand. It's like, what are they're just what are they doing? Their cards don't do anything. You have a four four hexpert that they can't beat, you know? So it's like, I don't know. It just it seems like it makes a lot of sense. And on top of all of that, it gives you a huge advantage in the mirror because if you have Scion plus Leyline, all of your rhinos have first strike. They just can't ever attack, and they also can't ever block. So they have no attacks, no blocks the entire game, you know? So I have a version, Plablo, that I, I have a version with Solitude that we're going to try after this version, um, which basically just cuts Fire Ice for Solitude. Because you'll notice that, I, weirdly enough, and I don't, I don't know what I would want to... Like, if I wasn't playing Solitude, I don't know what I'd want to cut the Fire Ices for, but I think that Fire Ice is just the weakest card in the deck, Okay. Now, it's weird, because now a lot of people kind of associate Fire Ice with, like, you know, turn like you're on the play, you turn two, you ice their land, and then turn three, you play your Cascade spell. And that's really cool, right? But because we don't have Violent Outburst, and we're playing much more at sorcery speed, I actually don't really think that, like, the tempo or holding up Fire Ice aspect of things is really... It's not super relevant anymore because you're gonna be you're not gonna be holding up mana as frequently, right? If you're your turn three, you always want you're always gonna want to tap out. So I think that Fire Ice is is arguably the weakest card in the deck, but if not Solitude, I don't know what else I would play over it. Like I guess maybe Dead Gone, but it's kind of the same thing. Dead Gone's a little bit better against Ragavan. Um one other thing that I've seen on Twitter, this like the, I guess the common consensus is that you should be cutting Force Negation uh, because you don't have the Outburst plus Force your plus force your opponent's Counterspell. Uh, that's stupid. <laughs> I'm going to be blunt with you. That is the dumbest thing I've ever heard. Force Negation, like, okay, here's the thing, right? What decks in the metagame are even playing Counterspell to begin with? It's like Merktide and Blue Eye Control. That's it, okay? The cards that people have that are good against that are good against Rhinos are not counter spells. They're sideboard cards, Chalice, Void Mirror, Explosives, um, Solus Jailer, you name it, right? Teferi, whatever, who cares? And it's, first of all, you were never really in a spot where you were like outburst and fighting over it with Force Negation. Um, but like, so people kind of assume that because you don't have outburst, then your forces are less good. But like that was never happening. That was never materializing anyways. And decks still have a bunch of rings, a bunch of Teferis, a bunch of Court of Callings, a bunch of Goryeo's Vengeances. Like, there's still so many broken cards to Force Negation. And on top of all of that, it, Force Negation is even better in the mirror match because you're forced to play it in at sorcery speed, right? So if neither deck has Violent Outburst, your forces get better because they just have to tap out for it. And they can't, you know what I mean? So it's like, I don't I don't really understand the sentiment of Force Negation being weaker. That doesn't make any sense to me. It seems like it got better. So keep that in mind. Um, so I'm playing 4 Force. Uh, I've decided to trim a Fire Ice. That's, you know, everything else is a 4 of Binding Sun. This is, this is literally just the Channel Fireball list from uh from the rc with arden play over violent outburst and i just slightly changed the mana base cyborg's a little bit different too but i just wanted to like kind of discuss my thoughts on the you know the rhino deck in general why people are building their decks wrong etc etc okay our opponent has revealed gigantha the wellspring uh i'm going to keep my hand i don't need to redeem for lights off what if i just turn it's gonna fuck with the green screen if i turn this off Eh, kind of. It doesn't even look that much different. What if I turn both of them off? Hold on. Off. Oh, that looks bad. <laughs> okay, so Domain Zoo. Domain Zoo. Which I don't know if it's a good or a bad matchup. Probably bad because I don't have Leyline and they do. I don't think I need a third Cascade spell. Could be on Glimpse. Would Glimpse play Leyline? I have no idea. Sideboarded two Hibernations for Rhinos, Titan and Yogg. Overperformed. Hibernation, huh? Hibernation, is that just creatures or all green permanents? I'm not subtleting that. 
It's green permanence, right? So it bounces ley line too. That's kind of hot. Yeah, all green permanence. That is kind of nice. It's good against ley line. Because it even gets the scion too. Since the, the scion is still green when it's on the battlefield. Alright, opponent, where you at? Come on. They got that McDonald's internet. Chat, you are the voice inside my yed. Uh, I guess I should surveil, right? Might as well. I guess I'm looking for a binding, maybe? Probably, I think. Just a removal spell for this stupid ley line. If they play Scion, I probably have to subtlety it. It's inside my yeah, Definitely don't want that. The voice inside my yed. I will take three damages. Three damage incoming. Please don't play Scion. I don't want to be forced to subtlety it. Territorial Kavu. I mean, I guess I'm going to subtlety that. Yeah. I have to. Perhaps I should have kept the Ardent Plea. Which sounds weird, but like... Having an Ardent Plea in play instead of a second Shardless allows me to attack with a 5-5. Five five. I don't know how relevant that is. It could be relevant. I don't know if it's more or less relevant than the second 2-2. Two two. Also, I don't have the Shock. Okay, well, I got three Shardlesses. That's good enough. Panda, thank you very, very much for the 36-month resub. Welcome back, Panda. Yeah, the binding off the top would have been sick. Oh, because they had two fetches? Oh, I didn't even think about that. Yeah, because if they... Yeah, that's a good point. It would just instantly die. That would have been so sick. <laughs> Honestly, I mean, I still would have cast the Shardless Asian, probably. Aaron Jones to the Cowboys. Is that why they let Pollard go? Because somebody was telling me yesterday that they let Pollard go, and I didn't I didn't understand what they were doing, but now they got Aaron Jones. Is that I, I assume that's not a good thing for us. Well, good for Pollard. I mean he deserves it. Pollard Pollard is an amazing running back. Jones went to the Vikings. So who did what did who did Dallas get? Also nice post combat. Guess they wouldn't have attacked anyways. Uh, so I can't possibly win. I don't like this song. So I can't possibly win. Let me get time our opponent out. We could do that. Any bindings? All right. I mean, that's a card. Go. We can even attack next turn into the Scion, and after they block kill the Leyline. Mm. Yeah, not with four Rhinos, but six. Mm. Now we're talking. It's all my life. Wait, I've now realized... Oh my god, if they tap out for Kavu, we get to kill the Nakatl and the Kavu. There's no way that's going to happen, right? What did they do with the Kavu, by the way? Did they top or bottom it? They topped it. So they have the Kavu in hand. And it's, like, pretty advantageous. No! Come on. You weren't supposed to play that. That's cheating. Now their shit doesn't die. Oh. Well, we die instead, I guess. <laughs> okay. Cool. Yeah. I'm with ya. I've been waiting for this all my life. Okay, I'm gonna try to bait a uh I'm gonna try to bait a stub by playing the rhinos first. But I, I literally can't beat a stub here, so. Uh green, blue, white. Zero percent against stub. Phone's playing pretty slow. Park Mania with the song request, what you got? Modern Love in the queue. Okay. Inshallah, they will not have Stubborn Denial. They don't have it. There's no way they have it. Ain't no way they have Stub here. Or they just didn't block. 
Okay, well, I guess I'll do it now. I don't know. <laughs> I can't beat it anyways. Regardless. Maybe I should have sent the Shardlesses. They would have blocked two Shardlesses. I get in two more damage that way. They, they take 18. Oh, okay. Also can't beat that. All right, you in. Why didn't you do a pre-combat? Do Well, I can't target the Scion, so it doesn't matter. I have to, I'm targeting the Leyline regardless. So no matter what, I can't. I have to. I have targeting the the leyline either way. Okay, they can't beat this card. Yeah, and I'm just dead to the sign regardless. I think I'm gonna cut the fire aces against them. So bring in moons, cut fire aces. Maybe want to see the issue with dismember is dismember is pretty bad if they have leyline. Although dismember is good if they have leyline but no scion. Maybe cut fawns. For, like, two dismembers. I don't know. I could keep a couple of fawns just for tribal flames. Probably okay. Can't you block with a rhino? Their scion has flying. My rhinos don't have flying. You think rhinos can fly? Yeah, maybe they can jump, like, really, really high. No, I don't think I like Force of Vigor, because I already have binding. I already have binding for their ley lines. I think that's enough. I could be wrong. But I think it is enough. Sand is weird. Sand is really weird. Like, what's the upside here? I can, like, Temple Garden, Footfalls, turn to this, find a red source, but then I have no basics. I guess the upside is, like, Archive into Forest, or a Fetch that finds Forest, suspend Footfalls, then get a Steam Vents, play Blood Moon. I think I'm going to ship it. I like this hand. This hand I do like quite a bit. I think I'm putting back the second fawn. And if he falls into a land, we can just pitch the Lorian to fawn. This hand is really good. If you hold the card over the board, you give them fly. What if I just, like, in paper, if I take my rhino token and I pick it up and I throw it at my opponent, does that mean it has flying? I think that's how that works, right? All right, untap land. Ooh, let's go. How do you give something trample, then? I haven't got... Why are you asking me these questions? I haven't gotten that far. What you got over there? You got a wild Nicotl. How do I defeat a wild Nicotl? Pick your poison. I kind of want to force this. All right, this is aggressive, but I don't care. <laughs> <laughs> this is what we call a YOLO play. If they have a second one, they wanted it more. They simply just wanted it more if they have a second one. The issue with not countering that is I have no white mana. So. just can't. I can't cast Biting or Scion if I don't counter that. I guess that's not true, because I can cycle. I can cycle for... I can't get a land that produces two colors that I don't have, though. Because I can only get an island with Lorien. Modern love. I've never heard this song before. Apparently, uh, apparently this person loves modern, though. David Bowie does be like loving modern. More than I do. Why do you have an upkeep stop? You're tapped out. Opponent, please. This is why I don't play Moto, by the way. I don't know what it is, but Moto players are so much slower than Arena players. <laughs> no, I've heard of David Bowie, but I've never heard this song before. I know who David Bowie is. That was a good drop, by the way. Also, shout out to the folks who uh, weren't sure about the Leyline Scion plan. This one, this game is for you. You're all triple queuing. No, they just don't have... They, there's no reason for them to play faster, because there's no rope on Moto. <laughs> there needs to be a rope on Moto. That's what I'm saying. No, I said there needs to be a rope on Moto. I keep the MTG rope is just 25 minutes. Yeah, it's true. What's the? Uh, I I know they keep changing it, but what's the? What's the inactivity timer for? Like, I know there is it still different for leagues and challenges? I think it is. They keep changing it on me, so I don't know. Don't cast Pick Your Poison, please. Get out of here. Don't do it. You think it's eight minutes? 
eight seems kind of low, no? That's what I thought. Ten for leagues, fifteen for premier. I think I think that's what it is. I think you're right. There should also be a rule where if you're ten minutes behind on clock, you should automatically lose the match and have your MTGO account suspended. Ragavana. Huh? I would like to draw a ley line binding, please. Okay, that answers pick your poison. Um go surveil land probably. Alright, your turn. I know I don't have to fetch with Leyline, but I'd like to fix my draws. I will declare no blocks. No blocks. Made a land. Just landed the hit. Wait, why can't I see my exile zone? Oh, it's over here. They hit a force. Okay. I was like, where the hell is my exile zone? Um, actually, it's their exile zone. Yeah, you can have that. That one resolves. You can have that one, Chief. They just wanted to give it Vigilance, man. I don't know what to tell you. I might want to see... I might want to use the Besaju at some point. Also, kind of unfortunate that we had back-to-back -back Surveil lands on top. I'll just take the two damage. I might want to use this... Uh, this Besaju at some point, if they like binding me. Do they play counter spells that answer Scion? We're going to find out. Well, I guess they could just have binding, right? You just get Indophitrium and step binding. But they can only binding the Leyline, so who cares? I honestly don't even know what that last is from Shaman Ultra, because I don't remember the last time that I played Moto. <laughs> Wear Tear. She wearing my tear till I'm fused. She tearing my wear. She fusing my wear till I'm torn. She fusing... I don't know. We'll, we'll figure something out. There's, there's something there. Besage of the Ragavan. Honestly, it does look like an artifact. You should be able to do that. Mm. Okay, now I can get a basic. Uh... Do oh you know what? Exalted baby. Any exalters? Any exalters in the chat? It's okay, they probably have stub. Any exalters? Exalted is a broken mechanic. It really is. Violent outburst can't do this. Fine. Okay. Resolves. So I can't I still can't attack. I don't think. I don't think I should attack here. Although, I don't know. Trade five, they go to nine, take six, I go to eight. It's close. Because now if they attack, I'm blocking. Well, if they attack with both, I'm blocking Ragavan. For sure. Okay, I am gonna trade. I will in fact trade. Yeah, I don't know. Going like I just I kind of want to preserve my life total, especially with the second cascade spell in hand. Uh, I should play an untap land. Do I want to? So untap land is slightly better because I can pay for a soft stub. I think it is worth it. Uh, white, green, blue. I think I want to be able to pay for soft stub. I know I could surveil here, but. If that was outburst, we get a forest. Yeah, that is true. It is a good point. <laughs> She's stubbing me softly. All right, let's play the game of will they ever remember Gigantha? I love playing that game. Nope, the answer is no. I kind of don't want them to have this. <laughs> Not going to lie. Although, I guess I could just top it and only send one Rhino. It doesn't change the clock, right? Because I attack for six. Alright, attack for six. You may proceed. He's doing the 14 Cyborg Challenge for Flex. Oh, and just never picking up Gigantha? Yeah. Island Outburst can't do that. Yeah, Rhinos just got strictly better because of Exalted. 
Neshoba Brawler. She brawling on my Neshoba till I'm message your opponent a Gigantha reminder. Should I tell them? Should I be like, yo, you should pick up your Gigantha. It looks like they're doing it now. Did they remember? I'm so proud of them. I'm so proud. Can we get some can we get some claps in the chat for our opponent? Claps in the chat for our opponent. I'm so happy they remembered. All right, cool. That was fun. So I'm going to keep... Yeah, I just reveal one ley line, right? And then pitch the other one to Solitude. Or Subtlety. All right, here's my one ley line. Go. Joel, 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 Joel. Eggy Benny, thank you very much for the 33 month reset. Welcome back, Benny. Can we get some Joels in chat for Benny? Any Joels? Any Joels? Oh, this can't get blue red. I didn't realize that. All right, I got green white then. This can get blue red. Uh, yeah, we top that. So we go top that. Binding map, and then fetch another Surveil Land. Yeah, I like that. Oh, wait, I didn't need this. I don't know. I have the plea, but what's nice about Shardless is it's a guaranteed two-turn clock. Inscribed Tablet. So this is just... Uh, it's just colorless Ancient Stirrings, but two mana? Okay. Noted. Is it Sorcery only? No. They revealed... Well, they do have the PP. They did find their PP. Okay, PP in hand. No, I, I actually haven't been playing Bellatro over the past, like, four or five days because I've been so busy. I've been doing a lot of different stuff. Uh, which, by the way, chat, I have uh, I have kind of a semi-announcement. I reached... I got a response from the sponsor for the next Pure Modern event, and uh, we are almost ready to go. I'll be uh, I'll be getting everything ready over the next couple of days, but we're almost ready to go for that. As the battle deck in standard, by the way, we got destroyed yesterday. <laughs> that is, we got. Oh wait, <laughs> I thought. Wait, wait, wait. I thought that they found the third Tron land. But because it was mismatched, it's actually not the third Tron land. Oh, okay. Well. Okay. <laughs> well, see, the unfortunate... Okay, here's the shitty thing about No Outburst is your deck is much, much worse against um, Oblivion Stone. Do we get to know the sponsor? As soon as I announce the event, you'll see it. Because I, I got the logo on the sponsor. I got the sponsor logo on the, the event banner. It's not a new sponsor. It's it's a, one of the previous sponsors. All right. Well, I guess we have to hope that. Huh? Do I cast another rhinos or do I hold up subtlety? Casting another rhinos is really bad into O stone. So I think my plan might just be hold up subtlety. If they O stone me, do nothing. Force them to pop the O stone. The next turn, plea with subtlety backup. Yeah, I'm just gonna do that. Because if I play Ardently, I just lose the game if they have O-Stone. Which, they probably have O-Stone, right? Okay, that's annoying as well. Nothing I can do about that. Okay. Really want to find a Force Negation. QB Enjoyers. Yeah, I'm choosing to play no copies of Questing Beast and no copies of Bone Crusher Giant, but I mean, if this deck, if these Tron decks are popular with one ring, then maybe it's beneficial to play Questing Beast or Bone Crusher. I don't think Tron is that popular, though. Okay. Alright, let's get the last Surveil Land. Really need to find a Force here. Any forces, please. Any forces. 
See, people are still playing Tron, and y'all want to cut Force Negation from your deck? Like, what are you doing? You can't beat Tron without Force. Oh, God, now I'm just fucked. Because if I don't play Arden Plea, I lose to Ulamog. But if I do play Arden Plea, then I lose to O-Stone. Could you beat Tron with Force? Well, if I had Force this game, they would have lost. I just would have forced their ring, and they would have died. Right? So yes, you can beat Tron with Force. Considering that Force would have won the game this this turn. I think I... Ugh, God, this is so bad. They play less Ulamogs. So I think I pass. Yeah. That was kind of my theory, too. Force of Negation is your best possible card against Tron. Even better than Subtlety. Because Subtlety doesn't hit O-Stone. And Ring. I'm sorry, what? I'm sorry, what? TJ, run that shit back? Alright, you got me. Oh, they're ready, alright. That's the Rhinos tech, right? It is good against Rhinos, I'll give them that. It's it's you know, it's a tough way to tough way to go about it, but it'll eventually get there. Yeah, I know. Violent Outburst gets banned, so now I'm going to start main decking Rhino's Hate. Ancient Stirrings. Yeah, I know, Badnastic. I'm trying to figure out how to how to get these out of my house. These 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 aliens here, they won't leave. They're like they keep telling me that they've been removed from a certain format. I don't I don't really know how to respond to them because they're like they don't really understand words that I say, you know? You're going to clean up step now. Keeping the Lorien. Well, the issue with keeping Lorien is I didn't have land 5 at the time. So if I keep Lorien, I then have to draw Lorien with 4 lands. And it's like, what is it even accomplishing? Ooh. That kind of answers the maze. I mean, I could tap tower upkeep. What does that keep them off of, though? They drew Ugin. Well, Ugin doesn't matter. I, have, I want them to cast Ugin. I have fucking subtlety in my hand. If they cast Ugin, they lose. Right? They ca they cast Ugin. I subtlety the Ugin, tap the maze, and kill them. So I think I just pass and don't tap the uh, don't tap tower upkeep. I just don't care about Ugin. Yeah, I mean, Ulamog, but like I can only play around so many things, right? Because if I tap the tower to stop Ulamog, then I just lose the maze. I can even hard cast subtlety here, can I? Because this is only attacking. Yeah, I can. I can hard cast subtlety. Stop. They could have third ring, I guess. But I mean, <laughs> what, what am I gonna do about third ring? You know, I can't. I can't do everything. I can't play around everything. Mm, 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 mm. They put it on the bottom. Please don't have third ring. Please don't have third ring. Please don't have third ring. I mean, they're dead on board if they don't have third ring. All right, good. Whew. Whew, that was a sweat. They resolved two rings that game, and they still lost. Okay, so Tron, huh? I would like to bring in the moons. I would like to moon you. Any, uh, any mooners? Anybody up mooning the blood? That's kind of a weird thing to say. Fire Ice? I don't know. Fire Ice is nice at tapping Tron lands. That has to be TOS. Probably is. Am I going to get canceled? <clears throat> you hate to see it. She mooning on my Magus? I will not finish that statement. You can You can finish that if you want to, but I might actually get banned if I finish that. Be cut against Tron. It's gotta just be Fire Ice, right? What's worse, Fire Ice or Binding? I assume Binding is better because it answers Ring. How about Scion? How good is how good is the Scion shit against Tron? Like I know they can't kill it, but they don't have any targeting removal anyways. Does it like, does it change the clock enough to keep it in your deck? 
over something like Fire Ice or Force of Vigor? I don't know. I'm not sure that it does. But it does kind of feel weird to board up the Scions and keep the Ley Lines. Yeah. It is also particularly bad into... Into, um... Oblivion Stone, because then you, like... You lose the domain after they after they O-Stone it. Science worse than Fire Ice. I kind of want to do, like, 2 and 2. I don't know if that's right, but we'll do 2 and 2. We're on the draw, so Fire Ice is worse. I need to update that playlist command. Because I'm listening to a different playlist. Let me do that real quick. There we go. New playlist, PogChamp. Okay, what's the sand do? Uh, so it's like a six card hand, but it's six card hand with shardless subtlety blue card three lands. I mean, it's not necessarily a six card hand because we can suspend this on one. What are we looking for instead? Like, are we? Are, what are we looking for besides cascade spell subtlety blue card? I guess force blue card is better. Yeah, or blood moon. The nice thing about this hand is it does have two basics though. But yeah, I guess. Okay, well, this one's worse. Eh, I mean, I guess. We're back footfalls, and... This is going to look weird, but I think I'm putting back Basaju. Because I want to keep Force Blue card, and this is also potentially my third land, right? I guess I could put back Lorien. No, I think it makes more sense to put back Basaju. Yeah, because if I put back Lorian, there's a chance I can't pitch cast force. So, like, this hand's plan might just be pitch cast force and hope to peel third land. Yeah, we have a Steam Bends. Because I have Moon, I'm not going to fight over this. If I didn't have Blood Moon, I might consider forcing that. Okay. So... I guess I do that first. That is a really interesting card. Deckless shows no steam vents. Oh, do I? Am I not playing a steam vents? Then I thought I was. No, I guess I'm not. I'm playing a hallowed fountain and a breeding pool as my blue lands to search. I for some reason I thought I was, but I guess I'm not. So what's the plan if I keep this? Yeah, I have a thundering falls, which is not super relevant here, because I don't want to get a tap land with the Lorian ideally. I don't necessarily need to cycle Lorian before casting Blood Moon. Like I can cycle Lorian post Blood Moon. For a basic island. I think I might consider topping this. Yeah, I think I'm going to top this. And then next turn, I can go fetch for a basic. Probably planes. What's more important, planes or forests? Probably planes. Uh, I could let them have this. It's probably better to not let them have this, though. Oh, I can get Island now. Yeah, we have to get Island. Hmm, it's actually not even that good, because they can just sack the map now. And now I lost my other basic. Yeah, this is a little awkward. We don't necessarily have to cast Blood Moon next turn, though, because if we find a Cascade spell, they don't they, they don't they can't threaten Tron. Well, I guess they can threaten Tron the turn after. Yeah. Having get having to get island there is a little awkward. What's up, monkey brain? Oh boy, uh, am I playing stomping ground or sacred foundry? <laughs> I'm not. So that can't even get an untapped red source. God damn it. Uh, well, I guess in that case, we just get planes and jam shardless, right, and hope to peel a red source. Because I can't cast Blood Moon anyways. The other option is fetch a tapped red source. Yeah, I'm just going to get planes and cast Shardless. And hope that it works out. Zero untapped red sources. Yeah, probably not the best for Blood Moon. <laughs> the mana base that I copied didn't have Blood Moon in it. To be fair, I will say that. The mana base that I copied was without Blood Moon. But perhaps I should have changed the mana base. Perhaps. It's okay, we'll just figure it out.
So we have to, like, get a tapped red source this turn. Oh, we're, like, super dead then. Yeah. All right, we need to change the mana base then. Should probably add Steam Bents over... What is it, like, Steam Bents over the third Scryland then, maybe? That probably makes sense. But yeah, having no untapped red is kind of sketch with Blood Moon, if that's going to be our plan. Yeah, that is true. If you open Leyline, then who cares, but... Mm, 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 mm. This one feels Jover. Hmm. What about Cut Leyline, Scion to Side, and Fire Eyes, Force of Vigor, Dispute? Dispute's pretty bad against them, I think. I mean, it's a little bit better on the play, I guess. But I, I certainly... Well, the, the weird part about this is, like, now that I've realized that I don't have an untapped red source, I think I have to keep the Leyline Scion stuff in. And on the play, the Scions are quite a bit better. So I think I'm just going to do this on the play. But yeah, Leyline is, like, our only untapped red source. So we kind of have to keep that plan in just because my mana base is built in correctly. Perhaps the Blood Moons are a little bit too greedy. But... Mmm... Okay, so Force of Vigor doesn't do anything against Tron. If it's in your opening hand, you can force their turn one map. But it's like, it's super narrow. Sand's gotta be a keep, right? I don't know though, because we can't we can't turn two binding. Or can I? No, because Lorien Actually I can turn two binding, right? I can go flooded strand for Temple Garden. Cycle Lorien for Grixis Triome. Turn two, Grixis Triome binding their map. Turn three, Besage you Shardless. This hand has to be a keep, yeah. This hand's gotta be a keep. <clears throat> Just like any hand that has opening hand binding for their uh, for their turn one map is super huge because they have to mulligan aggressively to Tron. And sometimes they mulligan to a hand that just like can't function if you kill their map. Right, yeah, exactly. I don't know how, I don't even know if they even, I don't even know if they play Chalice. They don't typically do. Yes, yeah, so we go Flooded Strand for Temple. What's up, Ryan's? Of Chalice? Like Green Tron? Oh, oh, also, yeah, you're right, because they had Gigantha game one, and they no longer have Gigantha, so. They probably have Chalice. Okay, resolves. Okay, well, probably not going to kill Sphere. Yeah, so let's just stick to this plan. I have the Besaju too, which is nice. No, I can't cast that. Cycle this, get Grixis. Grix ass. Grix ass. Well, that is certainly interesting. So we let them have the sphere. I feel like we probably do and just save the bindings. It's kind of close though. Yeah, I'm going to let them have the Sphere. Like, the worst-case scenario, if they go, like, Sack for Sphere for green, play Tron land, cast Scrying, I can Besage you. I can go, like, tap land Besage you next turn if I want to. No, I know that, but... Oh, wow. They just don't have second land? That's good for us. I do, okay. Sure. Okay... They have four cards in hand. I am going to kill the Chalice. Like, worst case scenario, they go, like, if they don't have the third Tron land rolled up, they just go sack map, get tower, play, like, O-Stone or something, and then I can go binding O-Stone, Besage your Tron land, then it's fine. I don't have an untapped land. Right, okay. That's a little sketch, then. <laughs> yeah, there's too many fucking Surveil lands in this deck. Why are there three Surveil lands? That's so many. I mean, surely we just jam, right? With binding backup. Yeah, I'm, I'm just gonna jam. I'm just gonna jam. They don't have it. There's no way they have it. You just gotta believe sometimes. Surely they just don't have tower in hand. Okay, this is good. This is a good sign. This is good, chat. We like to see this. 
Don't care about that. Give me a force off the top. How about a forest? How about a cheeky little forest? You know, I just Magic is just an easy game, man. I don't know what to tell you. Just the easiest game in the world. Now we can now we have Ulamog beat too. We kind of have everything beat, right? Your turn. You may proceed. <clears throat> That's some streamer luck right there. You know how I get that lucky? Because I, myself, am subscribed to twitch.tv slash doomwake. No. 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 You don't have a second one, do you? That'd be bad. Easy clap. Rhino's still best deck? That's kind of how I feel about the banning. Much better now that you're here. You love to hear it. I would like to ley line you. So this is probably a blue white angle. I don't I mean it doesn't matter which which survey lands we get because we have ley line, right? I guess it doesn't matter. But I don't want to get green white surveil land and have temple card in my hand. Uh yeah, whatever. Whatever. How much do I care about the Sentinel? It's kind of annoying, right? I mean, I'm not going to graveyard that. I'm just going to pass. I'll probably take a hit from this and save this for, I don't know, if they play like Stoneforge or something. Or with the only bad matchup of the deck. Yeah, not only did they remove the bad matchup for Rhinos, they also, like... People seem to think that there's going to be an uptick in Yogmoth and Titan, and those were two very good matchups for Rhinos. So it's just like a combination of everything. Yeah, I'll take one easy. Easy minus one. Now, to be fair, I don't really think that... I don't think there's going to be as much of an increase as Yogg and Titan as people seem to think there is, but that's definitely the, the, that's definitely the, the public perception. Our opponent has revealed Cryptic Coat. I'm not sure I care. Okay, let's do this. Let's... Binding the Sentinel. Pay. Yeah, I'm gonna let them have the Stone Forge. It's a little risky, though, right? Well, they might just be assuming that I that I have a removal spell for the Stone Forge, but... It's probably risky to not kill the Stone Forge. I guess. Mm, okay. Mm, try, I don't think there's a reason to pay this untapped. I guess the reason would be if I want to besage you and force pitch pay. I think I'm going to do that. I think we can just play this tapped. But yeah, good chance they have culture in hand if they're getting the coat. Yeah, maybe besage you surveil. That's a good point. I could always, like, besage you Surveil Upkeep. But if I see a Cascade spell, I don't have three mana to play it. Yeah, maybe it was worth shocking there. What else am I forcing if I'm not forcing this? I think I'm going to do it. I guess I could just force the Hammer. But they usually, like, in general, they have more ways to... They have more ways to find Hammer than they do Aids. Can I besage you? Yeah, but I might want to besage you something else. You never know. I don't want to be forced to besage you that thing. It sucks that they have Paladin. At least if they have Paladin, maybe I can draw Fury. Alright, Fury at the top. I guess I don't have a red card to pitch. Mm, don't want that. No.
deep scolding. <laughs> Do you think this is a stern scolding? Brother, I'm playing a Rhino's deck. I'm not trying to cascade in a stern scolding. What are you, what are you talking about? <laughs> you actually thought this is a stern scolding? What are you doing? What do you think I'm playing if you think this is stern scolding? Brother. You still have a surveil? No, because I, I just realized I fetched the wrong one. If I had fetched Portico off of the off of the Heath, or off of this, then I could have fetched for the Thundering Falls off of this. So I should I've got the wrong land. I should have got Portico. That was my B. Run crashing footballs and stern scolding. Shout out to the the living end player that I played against. Like I don't even remember remember how long ago at this point. But shout out to the living end player who uh, spell pierced me. That was good times. Is Dan Dan still worth it, or did Violent Outburst Band make the card not good enough anymore? Dude, I I love Dan Dan. All my homies love Dan Dan. I probably should besage you this. I feel very dead though. Yeah, see, distinction. Now, what are we gonna do if we if we decide to run back the Cascade Gamba? We have no more Violent Outburst. You're about to draw three cards. Well, if I draw a land, I am. Oh, how about we just die? You ever think of that? I guess they need an artifact. Oh, they have the Nexus. All right, all right, you in, you in. Okay, Force of Vigor, Dish Member. Cut Fire Ass. Actually, no, Force of Negation is kind of bad against them. As is Subtlety. I don't like either of the pitch spells. I don't know if I'm cutting both of them. I could Blood Moon on the play. Which one Which one of these three do you think is better? Subtlety, Force, or Blood Moon? No, it's, I don't like Teferi. I think it's too slow. It might just be Moon. It could be Moon. Especially on the play, if they keep, like, a Saga Hand. Surely Force is good. You would think that, but the problem with Force and Negation is they have Stoneforge Mystic and Urza Saga. Both of which, and even Pure Steel Paladin, like all three of those cards kind of make Force Negation look embarrassing. Yeah, that's a good point. Moon is good against Saga and the Nexus. I guess I'll play Moon. Yeah, I'll play Moon. It's a one lander, but we can get a Surveil land. I'm talking myself into keeping this hand. I don't think I should. Uh, okay. This hand is the nuts. <laughs> Holy shit, this hand's busted. I'll put that one back. This hand is the schnutz. Where did Tidebinder go? So, the four-color version of Rhinos never played Tidebinder, because they had to make room for the Scion Leyline package. And also, I'm not even sure that Tidebinder is that good anymore, because Tidebinder was a lot better when you had Violent Outburst, and you could, like play that Splinter Twin game where you're holding up three mana. It could be anything. It could be a boat. It could be a plane. It could be Superman, you know? Uh, but now that you don't have Outburst anymore and you're playing all at sorcery speed, Tidebinder gets a lot worse. Yeah, Hexproof Magus. It's pretty good. Man, I wonder if we're, if we're doing the Scion Leyline stuff, we should just go all in on Magus and play No Blood Moons. Our opponent has Mulligan to four. That's not a lot of cards. So it depends on uh well the basics, right? So if you're if you get basics with leyline, the basics are still all types, but the non-basics are time stamped. I think I'm probably not fetching here. Okay, I could just binding that if I want to. I probably will. Just get that out of here. All right. Need an untapped land to play Magus? Untapped land? Like, I could have fetched this. Oh, boy. If we draw an untapped land. If we draw an untapped land, it is Jover. Jover. Jovember. It's close. 
Real Reforged Gaming, thank you for the three month resub. Welcome back. Surely I'll draw a land next turn, right? Question is, do I surveil? Well, the issue with fetching for surveil is it's a non basic when I play Magus. But if I surveil into a fetch land, it's pretty good. Yeah, it's probably just too important to surveil. Because it gives me an extra look at it. I'm not sure it matters which one I get. Uh, I guess this one makes the most sense. Yeah, graveyard. Yeah, I don't think I can afford to get the second surveil. Because then if I draw a non-basic, I have no colored mana. Maybe I don't need colored mana to win this game. Actually, do I do I ever need colored mana to win? Yeah, I'm thinking. Like, how do they beat Scion, Leyline, Magus? I'm not sure they can, right? Yeah, let's just get aggressive. I think it's fine. This time we'll get Portico. Thought Leyline gave you all the mana. So it's time stamped. If I play Magus after my Leyline, then the non basics are still. They're mountains, right? No, no, it's all time stamped things. The basics, no matter what, the basics are going to be all colors because they're not affected by Magus. But the non basics would be mountains. Yeah, if you played the Leyline after the Magus, then it would be different. They're not activating Saga? What the hell are they doing? <laughs> okay, sure. All right. Let him let him cook. Let him cook, chat. <laughs> let cook. That one that one does counter Magus, I'll tell you that much. That one does counter Magus. Okay, you have a 2-2. Two -two. Still does not outsize my Scion. Shadow Spear. Okay. So, second Blood Moon, probably. I don't want to give them a bunch of Constructs. Yeah, how did I not play around Rebuke? You think they have a second Rebuke? That's not bad. I think I'm still going to cast the Blood Moon. Because I just can't really afford to give them two more Constructs. I don't think. Yeah, I'm going to cast the Blood Moon. Because I could have just cast Plea there. Hit for 5, they go to 6. Maybe Plea was good. Because Plea would have let, Plea would have let me double block the Construct. Eh, maybe. I have second Rebuke? Bro, stop! 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 I do have a second one. <laughs> Metallic Rebuke, new meta. She rebuking on my metal till I pay three. There's something there. <clears throat> uh, I haven't seen that. I haven't seen a lot of uh, Yogg and Living End. Again, to be fair, this is only my third match. I really am, Corey. You know, I think it has something to do with, like, this thing they call streamer luck. But it's actually streamer anti-luck, you know? Hmm. Be good if I could cast it. I think we plea now, right? Surely I plea this turn. Because then I could just triple block this idiot. There's n there's no way you drew a third Metallic Rebuke. Come on. Stop. That's what I thought. Like, there's just no way. Mm -mm. Five. Exalted... Exalted's kind of a broken mechanic. Although, probably not as broken as Vigilance. I'm at 34, by the way. <clears throat> this is like the third game that Leyline Scion has just soloed my opponent. Do you think people still don't believe about Leyline? Distinction's probably just sitting over there like, Tisk, Tisk. This motherfucker. That is one thing that, like, that is probably the, the single most unfortunate thing about the banning. Oh, no. Uh, that's bad. 
Uh, the single most unfortunate thing about the banning for me is, like, now I have to spend, like, $250 on Scions, Ley Lines, and White Fetch Lands. Bro, you have one card in hand. I, there's no way they drew a Wear Tear, right? There's there's just no way they drew a Wear Tear. I just, I refuse to believe they drew Wear Tear. Also, if they drew Wear Tear, I'm probably dead anyways. I thought you're off modern. Well, I gotta try it out with the with the ban, right? Like I gotta play some modern now that there's been a ban announcement. All right, they just didn't know. That was a good attack. Mm, 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 mm. Good attack, by the way. All right, so we still win. Cool. Mm, 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 mm. Okay, so binding the paladin upkeep kill these two. It, do it doesn't matter. They have no outs. I'm just going to make sure they know they don't have outs, though. <laughs> this is like the most BM force of vigor of all time, but, you know, whatever, it's fine. I just want to show them who's boss. Cool. All right, we did it. Game three. We're on the we're on the draw this time. Blood Moon is worse than the draw. But it still might be something like an angle that I want to go towards. Force or Fire Ice also worse than the draw. I, I don't know if I should bring in Force Negation. Like, what is Force Negation good against? It's good against Sigardus Aid, Colossus Hammer, and their sideboard cards. I don't know. Dispute their rebuke. Nah, come on. I'm not going to bring in Dispute against the model white deck with, like, five blue cards. <clears throat> they can't have that many rebukes. Nah, there's there's just no way. Come on, chat. I'm not going to bring in Dispute for, like, three targets. That can't be that can't be what I want to do. Is that I feel like a monster? Any Tef on their side? They could have Tef, I guess. We haven't seen it yet. Yeah, but if you're spending three mana on a Dispute to counter an Esper Sentinel, you've already lost that game. Nice mana base, by the way. This mana base is just... You, you see, chat, the problem with the mana base is that it's just a little too good. That is the issue with the mana base in this deck. You wonder how portable this is to Timeless? Well, there's no Cascade spells in Timeless. There's also no Scions. It's just like a different deck, right? I think I have to go to five. Like, what am I doing if I'm keeping this hand? Putting back Footfalls, playing Thundering Falls. Sir, search for Breeding Pool, Breeding Pool, Untap, Dismember. And then turn three Shardless. I mean, that doesn't sound that bad. Hmm. Can we do better on five? I'm not sure we can do better on five. I'm not sure if you're aware, but I hate this format. No, I am aware. I am aware. I will say that I don't... It's not that I don't not hate the format. But, I mean, there is a ban announcement. I wanted to try some stuff. Not that I think much is going to change, but I wanted to try some stuff. I think it is Revolts, yeah. Or at least that's what we're trying to figure out. Brother! Somebody clip that. Bottom. Rather graveyard. Every time, by the way. Every single time. You keep, you scry card to the bottom, and actually, what Ma what Magic Online decides to do is they're like, you know what? Instead of putting it on the bottom, I'm going to put it on top. That is just what happens. I don't, I don't know what else to tell you, you know? They did not attack. Oh, because they have Rebuke. Hmm... Sus, chat, I wonder what they have. It, it, you know, honestly, it could literally be anything. Could It could literally be anything. Could literally be anything. I just can't win this game, can I? I might have to get meticulous and just hope to surveil into land three. Yeah, I think I do. Graveyard. 
Well, this is not going well. Hmm. I feel like we're dead. It was kind of like land three. Oh, well, the Scion, yeah, for sure. Good luck on buying, please. Well, fortunately for me, because I had a little uh, competitive stint with Yorion Rhinos, affectionately known as Yo Rhinos later, you know, back in the day, uh, I already have Arden, please. Never sold mine. I bought them for like a dollar. Yeah, cool stuff. Definitely sold out of those. Okay, so they definitely have Rebuke. Uh, how do I play around that? Not sure I can. I could fetch Basic Forest, cast Binding, Dismember, let them draw a card. Feels bad, though. Yeah, they like they make a token end step, then I do this while they're tapped out to kill the token, then they untap, make another token, get Colossus Hammer. It's my alternative. Alternative is like get Forest Cast Scion. Which I can't do because this costs four. Never mind, I can't do that. Uh I could play Shardless, but they just rebuke it. I think I'm I I mean I guess I'm passing. This is bad. Definitely a spot I wish I'd, I I wish I had outburst because I would just outburst here, you know. Yeah, I think I'm just gonna binding the construct and pay. Do you want a five k with your Uranus deck, dude? I miss playing that deck so much. Everybody shit on me too. I was like. You know, uh, you, you just add some Cascade spells and you don't change the ratio of Cascade spells to lands and or Cascade spells to whatever. Oh, that deck was so sick. And then you would like play Solitude Fury and then just blink your Solitude and your Fury with Yorion. Ugh, blink to Fury with Yorion. That deck was so sick. That is honestly the biggest casualty of the Yorion ban was Yorion Rhinos. I missed that deck. Am I just dead? It appears that I am just dead. Okay. So they don't have a land, which means I guess I'm not dead this turn, but I can't win. Okay. <laughs> that is certainly not going to do it. That one ain't going to do it yet. I will keep my hand. Yeah, share a stream. I'm trying to find my Arden, please. Because I'm pretty sure they're in this box. Did I ever? I don't think I ever showed you this deck box, by the way. You guys want to see this deck box that I bought a while ago? It's like a Yu-Gi-Oh deck box. So this is the front of it. A little DMG. Right? And then it opens up. You ready? AO? Oh, cool deck box. I bought that a while ago. DMG is my waifu. It was a free roll. I bought that in San Diego. Ooh, Arden, please, acquired. Gamba. We're not playing the last round. This isn't a spike strike. We gamba on the last round, my guy. Alright, what are we... How are we fetching here? Blue-red. Blue-red, basic forest, basic plains. I think. Chad, I would like to announce... I have located... I have located the Arden, please. That's like $100 right there. <laughs> it's so expensive for no reason. Well, not for no reason, but... I'm not going to subtlety that. I can subtlety whatever they play off of it. I can also just kill it. Do, 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 do. Graveyard. I think we're just on this plan... And then if we have to subtlety, we can just pitch the uh, second Arden play. It's not a huge deal. There's nothing... I'm not going to subtlety anything this turn. Can't subtlety that anyways. Do, 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 do. <laughs> yes, those are from the Yo Rhino days. <laughs> we call those the good old days. The good old days. I miss Yo Rhinos, man. I think I bought those for like a dollar. One of the better investments. 
you know, I kind of felt bad when Fury got banned because I owned Furies, but I also didn't, I, I'll be honest with you, I didn't spend a lot of money on Furies. I think I got my Furies for like $5 a piece. So even when they got banned, they still were like 7 to 10. So I didn't, I didn't even lose money on those, which was pretty dope. All right, I will make rhinos. It is your turn, opponent. What could you? What could they cast that gets around subtlety and force? Uh, split second wrath of God. I guess. Supreme verdict <laughs> in their black red Yogmoth deck. Sure, you got me. You got me. All right, dismember coming in. What's up, guys? The five dollar Fury doesn't have flash. Is do you think that's why they banned Fury because it didn't have flash? Yeah, turns out Yogmoth still gets destroyed by Rhinos. More news at eleven. <coughs> Sudden spoiling. Is that black black one instant all things become O twos until end of turn? Split second. Am I getting my shitty card knowledge right? I think that's what it is. That card was unbeatable and limited, I remember that. There was zero chance you could beat that card in Limited. It was just like, they attack with three things. You're like, uh, I'm going to go to blocks. And then I would like to block your creatures. Before damage, I have effects. I have effects. Unbeatable. That Limited format was so wild, because like the split second cards were so messed up because you just couldn't do anything about it. You know. Uh, this, is, this is one of the hands of all time. I think it's a keep. How many ley lines do I put into play, though? I could put in two to play around, pick your poison, and then still have one to pitch. I think two is ripe. Yeah, I think two is ripe. It plays around, pick your poison a little bit better. Bing. <laughs> okay. I mean, I guess that's not bad. You just do this, right? It's not the worst. They've been to Misty. Green, green. All roots. Shh. Sure, that's fine. Sweet pulse target. You think they have... I guess sometimes they do play Maelstrom Pulse, yeah. Okay. So, get Surveil Land. Graveyard that. Your turn. You may proceed. Do, 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 do. Might have been slightly better to get... No, I guess blue-red is better than blue-white, because if they somehow answer both ley lines, then this can get planes. It's a very, very marginal, but it could come up. Yeah, I'm just not countering these. <clears throat> blue. Blue. Green. I cast Shardless Agent. I will make rhinos. My rhinos are all colors, by the way. <laughs> is this the new, like, food is green? Rhino is all colors. Mm -hmm. Absolutely not. I think I'm all set with that. <clears throat> Some say the deck is even better without outburst. Who would possibly, who would ever say something like that? Who would, who would ever do that, you know? Who would ever say that? I mean, there's no reason not to attack with this, right? It's free. It's plus two life. I'm assuming they put the Yawgmoth on top, right? Yeah, they did. kind of wish my Rhinos had plus one, plus oh. <clears throat> yeah, this is the first league. First league. That's kind of rude. It's really rude, actually. Okay, we might be in trouble. We perhaps might be in trouble. 
a good build of creativity. Um, I'm sure you can probably find one on, like, on Goldfish, right? Well, the issue is they get, what, eight looks at a, a quarter calling to just kill me? Realized it's only been over one and a half hours. Yeah, one hour, 40 minutes into the stream. Not quite forever. Close, though. Need a binding? I don't think that's good enough. The reason I don't think that's good enough is because we can't cast it. Yeah, I got a graveyard that. Okay, more homies. Yeah. Maybe if I had a blue card or a landed hand, I could keep that. But it's also not even that good against Cord. I need Binding. I think I can cast that. I think I just have to play this Scion. Because now if they want to... Th Ooh, okay. They just didn't respond. Um, huh. Well, I can attack with these two, right? Do they have good blocks? I mean, I guess they just block with Yawgmoth Wall. Whatever, I gain six. I don't know if gaining six matters, but... Yeah. I don't think gaining six matters that much, but maybe it does. Alright, just don't kill me, please. I haven't heard a ton of covers or remixes of this song besides this one. This is the one, because it's on the playlist, right? But I haven't heard a ton past that. Oh, they found the cord. Alright, we're dead. I guess I'll make them show me they have the Blood Artist. Which, they I mean, they definitely do, but... All right, game three. Game three. Should I? Would you moon them on the play? I could moon them in the play. Over. I mean, I don't even know what I would cut though. Tron seems pretty sauce right now. Tron is still really bad against rhinos. At least like the the version of rhinos that I think people should be playing, which has four of these main deck. Like Tron is not very good if the rhino deck has four force four subtlety. Cut guilt backed? No. I'm not doing that. Yeah, that's true. They also have a lot of mana dorks too, like Wall, Halfling, and Blood Moon's not great against those cards. If we it's one of those situations where if you had Fury, I could see Blood Moon being a lot better, where you can Fury to clean up their dorks and then moon them. But without Fury, it's like you don't want to be using removal spells in the dorks. You want to save those for Yogmoth. Uh, I believe they need to have mana floating, I think, but I'm not hundred percent positive, Nickel. Uh, I gotta keep this, I think. I, too, love mooning my opponents. Get a little surveil action. A little surveil. Ooh, no one drop. I like that. What kind of hand would they keep without a one drop? Probably one with a hate piece. I'm actually going to hold up the Besaju here because if they play Chalice or if they play like a hate piece that I can't dismember, then I want to be able to Besaju it, like Void Mirror or something. I guess I'll dismember that. I think. I think that's worth it, right? I think the dismembers could be a Flames or a Mix. Uh, the issue with Flame is it's a lot worse when you don't have Tidebinder. Like, this deck has no Wizards. So, with no Wizards, I think I would still rather just play more Dismembers. Because you already have Besaju to fill the Shatter roll. Like, at that point, you would just want to play more Besajus, I think. Since they're more efficient than, uh, they're, they're more efficient than Flame of Anor, and they're, like, they're a little bit more multi-purpose, because you can just play them as lands. That should seal it up. I guess I will play the Besaju. Yeah, I'll play the Besaju. What do they have? <laughs> They're forced to figuring my Shardless Agent. Uh, tough way to do it. Uh, yeah, that's fine. <laughs> Can we get some O7s in the chat for Shardless? Any O7s? Thoughts on BNR? I mean, I don't hate it. I just don't think that it's going to be as impactful as a lot of people think it will be. <clears throat> mm -mm -mm. 
like personally speaking, I still think Rhinos is the best deck. And I think I don't think Rhinos is the best deck by a lot. Pick your poison. Rude. Rouge. <laughs> Graveyard that. They could draw like I don't know. They could have explosives. Yeah, it's still good with play. I mean, weirdly enough, I said this earlier in the video, or not early in the video, but earlier on the stream. I, I really do think that Rhinos got better. Like, I know that sounds insane to say, but, like, the power level of the deck decreased, but what happened is the metagame is shifting in such a way that makes the it makes this deck so much better against the expected metagame, right? No more Living End. Living End is basically dead without Outburst, more Titan, more Yogg, and even though it's slightly decreased in power level by a smidge... Like, the difference between it being decreased in power level with Plea versus Outburst cannot be outweighed by the difference in metagame shift. So. Ooh, two footfalls, huh? What's up, Spider? Yeah, it crushed it at the SCG, and it also won the RC that happened this weekend. And we'll keep this back garden. Gorgias at the same meta share as living in last week. That's kind of wild. I didn't know it was that high. I know it did extremely well, but I didn't know that many people played it. That deck, that deck is probably broken. Mm, I do remember your rhinos, which, by the way, I was looking through my cards the other day, or just now, and I found these. Shout out to my my awesome purchase, you know, a, two years ago when we were building the meme deck for your rhinos. Got these fuckers for like a dollar. Let's go. Don't have to spend a hundred dollars on a play set of those. It's bad enough that I have to buy the white fetches, the ley lines, and the scions, you know? At least catch me a break on the, the Arden, please. Hmm. So, trying to figure out how I should sequence my lands. I guess this can just get basic forest. So, we can go falls on one, plains, ice on two, forest on three. It's probably the best way to do it. don't think I want this. This can get... This can get Grixis. And this can get Temple Garden, so I can cast this on three. But, I mean, we can just go for high upside and try to find Rhinos. <coughs> Violet, Violet Outburst in the chat. Yeah, what are you doing in stream? I thought you were banned. You can't be here. No, just, I'm just kidding. Don't leave. Yeah, turn three, four, four, I agree. It's not going to beat Amulet. You have to find a rhinos. Okay. A little awkward. You're gonna change your screen name to Arden Plea. That that's that's selling the bit, you know. That's a good way to do it. Okay, I drew the forest that I was gonna search for. Cascade spell, please. Okay. Hamulet has entered the battlefield. Also, folks, just like to do a little bit of shilling here. That shout out to the sponsors of today's stream and every stream for that matter. Cool Stuff Inc., Moxfield, and Heavy Play. Be sure to check out all of their products in the links down below. And also, the best way to support the stream, if you don't, if you don't want to check out the sponsors, is with a free Amazon Prime subscription. If you have a Prime sub, you don't have to watch any of those ads and you get access to some amazing emotes. I don't think it's a bad matchup. Oh, right. I probably should have tapped the gardens, right? That was a mistake. Yeah, I should have tapped the gardens. You're right. I mean, having having subtlety is nice. Yeah, I should have tapped the gardens. That was bad. I wasn't thinking. <clears throat> it's actually going to matter a lot, too, because now they can copy the amulet. Otherwise, they would not have been able to. Do, do, do. Alright, what do you got? Yeah, that's a good point too. Because ring is one of the ring is one of the harder cards to beat. So the fact that it hits ring impact is nice. It's definitely not irrelevant against them. Hmm. 
kind of hope that they have either ring or pact here because if i subtlety lorian if i subtlety titan they can just cast it next turn there's just no reason to subtlety this right i mean the reason would be it gains them three life if they have primeval titan but it's also bad if they have second grazer yeah i don't know it's kind of close <clears throat> I don't I think it's like I think there's an argument for subtletying that, but Yeah, see. Okay. <laughs> Wait, are they just dead now? <laughs> Did we just kill them? I think we Oh no, because they Oh fuck, I should have let the pact resolve. Right, I just let the pact resolve and subtlety the Titan. What am I doing? Right, yeah, yeah, yeah. I should have done that. That was stupid. Yeah, I just let the pack resolve and subtlety the Titan. I don't know what I'm doing. Seven, they have eight mana. They would have had two mana left over. That would have been a lot better. Uh, sure, that's fine. Second pact. They picked up the Stomping Ground, which means their last card is probably another Bounce Land. Right? If I had to guess. Oh, they just picked up the wrong land. Okay, cool. <laughs> dope alright well we won anyways <laughs> turns out they did not have the second bounce land huh okay so these cards coming in uh what comes out against them fire ice scion it feels kind of weird to keep ley line in without scion though right would you cut Ugh, we could cut ley line instead and keep the scions I guess It'll put the Stomping Ground tap for two mana. Yeah, they could have. I don't think you're supposed to cut Force Negation against Titan, because it's too important to counter Ring. If you don't have Force Negation, it's really hard to beat the Ring. Yeah, I was waiting for you to show up, Sidana. We finally do a modern stream. Yeah, that's kind of my question, too. It's like, should I just cut the Scions and the Ley Lines and keep the Fire Races? That might not be a bad idea. But Ley Line is kind of nice with the Blood Moons. <clears throat> you cut Leyland, the green forces are blanks. Uh, we'd have 11 green cards, which is low. It is low, for sure. You got banned from Jake's chat for the fake copy pasta. Uh, their mods don't appreciate good humor, I guess. Leyland's for sure out. So what, you want to keep the you want to keep the fire races and just cut the whole Leyland package? Well, binding kills Titan. Maybe that's not relevant enough. And it's also not great against Poseju. I could, like, maybe buy that. So what if we cut... Okay, what if we did this, then? What if we just kept this, and we cut these, and one Scion, maybe? And then just keep the Scion Leyline stuff? <coughs> could try that. Because I think it is important to keep these as green cards for the Force of Vigors. Let's try this. Fire Ace is kind of whatever against them. Cut Forces and Ley Lines. Why does everybody want to cut Force Negation against the One Ring deck? <laughs> you know that my deck can't beat that card, right? Yeah, don't ever cut Force Negation against the Amulet, please. Yeah, you definitely want to keep Force Negation. Uh, I think I should Mulligan this hand. Okay. Uh, I'm, I'm definitely keeping, I just don't know which of these cards I'm putting back. If I put back Leyline, I don't have a pitch for Force. So it's just put back Subtlety, Leyline, and then keep Subtlety, Force, Leyline, two lands. I think that's what it is. It does feel bad putting back a second Subtlety, because Subtlety is really good against them, but I, I think it's the best way to do it. The Fountain. <laughs> See, I told you it's a bug. You can't you can't convince me otherwise that it's not a bug. This is the third time this has happened today. Bottom a card, immediately draw the same one. Uh that is that is unfortunate. That's unfortunate. Okay. Your land. 
That's good. Do you see the price of please? Yeah, thankfully I have please. I bought them a while ago. I bought them for like a dollar. And I bought them because of Yorion Rhinos. So, you know, I didn't necessarily buy them for the right reasons, but I own them for the right reasons. If that makes sense. Does that make sense? They're like 30 bucks each. It's unreal. Okay, so... What's the plan here? I have four cards. One of which is a basic. I mean, the plan has to just be upkeep force. And then if they play a Titan, I can subtlety it. You have to Rhinos here? I don't think I have to... I think my plan was upkeep force pay. I don't maybe I don't even upkeep the force, but then they could play two lands if I don't upkeep it. Yeah, I think I'm gonna upkeep it. They've been, they've they've had grid for a while now. <clears throat> yeah, they've had grid for a couple months now. So we still know about a forest. Making blue mana. Why not do it on your turn then? Why don't I force a vigor on my turn? It's a good question. No! Come on, man. Actually, <laughs> wait, isn't that good for me? Because <laughs> now I have an extra blue card to pitch the subtlety. <laughs> I think that's good for me. All right, I will make rhinos. Yeah, because we can we can subtlety pitch this turn and then hard cast next turn, which is just lethal, right? Because that's ten and then thirteen. Fuck you! <laughs> Come on, man. Fine. I mean, at least they're not casting Titan this turn, so it's not that bad. Okay. We can still subtlety pitch pay next turn. So I guess I want to draw another blue card. Yeah. Well, it's awkward if I do that, Salmonella, because this is not a two-turn clock. They go to two. Actually, they go to four, because we know about Fountain now. Mm -mm -mm. I did draw a blue card. <clears throat> mm -mm -mm -mm. It's okay. They just won't draw a Titan. All right, so we go to 14, we subtlety. I mean, it's still fine, though, right? Because we subtlety this turn, they take 10, go to 4, then we subtlety next turn, and they take 10 and die. So it's still probably fine, actually, now that I think about it. They have to, like, shove two spells through a force and a subtlety somehow, which I don't think that's possible. No. No, stop. <laughs> I hard cast generous end. I think no. I think I think I'm all set with that. All right, chat. Four one. Not a bad start. Four and one. Pretty good. Pretty good. Anything good? We open a Liliana Vess, an ally encampment, a uh, painful quandary, and a Terox Bladewing. Let's go. Yeah, believers get paid. All right, easy for one. Cool, 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 cool. I mean, I don't have a lot to say about that league. It went pretty well. Um, besides the mana base, we definitely need to add a steam vents. I think three surveillance might be too many. So I want to cut the thundering fall.